presenting. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, God. It's already late. Fuck. I didn't even talk about Ralph. That's my fault. Again. You're lucky I'm not Steven Crowder, Sean. Yeah. Are you? Yeah! You love it. You got us a show. Everything's a time contest coming to you live from Mountain Bunker Deep in the City of Failure. I'm your host, Dick Masters, aka the $20 million man. Joining me as always, world touring LA based comedian Sean the Audio Engineer. Hello. What's Dick. up, buddy? Thank you for not killing yourselves. Especially, this one goes out, especially to you, Ralph. Thank you for not killing yourself in my house. Was there a question? I never. Yes. <laughs> oh I thought my we were going to have a full blown Chris Farley situation in my house. Oh, no. With Ralph. I thought that was going to be the end of his podcasting career. <laughs> The end, and of his, end of his life career. Oh my god, he uh, got a little uh, overserved himself I feel, uh, Sean, in various uh, ways. I, uh, I don't know. It's uh, he got a uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, Do you have to change names to protect the guilty <laughs> or the? I, I don't know. Uh, Ralph had a major win, major win this week. You uh -huh. know, he's in. The, he's been in this three year long protracted. By the way, bonus episode up at patreon.com slash the Dick Show. I'm finally feeling back to normal. Oh my god! After a week of dealing with the what, what felt like my wife running out on me. Oh wow! Quite honestly, Jesus. <laughs> You're going to start a war with Ralph here. <laughs> no, I uh, I don't think so. I hope not. Okay. Yeah, these, are the, not. these are the reality. Um, Ralph's been in this protracted three-year uh, legal warfare yeah. with his first baby mama. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard who's a little. Like, uh, yeah. Um, he's like, a, she's a Disney adult. I think that's says, oh, okay. that says it all. I I get it. Um, and his he had a major victory coming in to stay at my house. He saw his son. And then he was going to stay at my house just to to make it more convenient for him and then go back up and see his son again before he went back home to Mexico, right? His son's in California? Yeah. His son lives with his, uh, the son's mom, the baby mama up in Northern California. And then go to, Me who's going he to Mexico? He lives in Mexico with his wife and his daughter. Who does? Ralph. Ralph <laughs> lives in Mexico? That's right. For like the last couple of months or something? Year, I don't know. A year maybe? I don't know. I had no idea. Uh-huh. So he, has a, he has a major win in court yeah. where um, his his baby mama, who's just trying to fuck him over and not let him see his kids and stuff, yeah. and his kid, uh, she didn't know how a, a trial works. Okay. So she came to court and said, uh, to open the trial, she goes, well, I think all the documents speak for themselves. Oh. <laughs> and the judge said, well, no, you got to like present evidence yeah. and he gets to question the evidence and like right. counter, uh, you know, cross-examine and these sorts of things. What are they she both goes, representing themselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because the first plan was to bankrupt Ralph, but then Ralph said, well, I'm just not going to pay for a lawyer. So then the other side, who's being funded by the in-laws, said, oh, well, we're not going to pay for a lawyer either. So now it's just... Well, that's stupid. <laughs> Here, okay, I'm going to fight you on my knees with one arm behind my back. You know what? You know, I'm going to do the same do thing. The same thing. Let's keep things nice and retarded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? So she goes, well, I mean, I think all the documents speak for themselves, and the judge goes, okay, case dismissed. <laughs> my God. One small one small step for a man, one giant win for mankind, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh -huh, we told you bitches you don't know how to do anything. Don't. Maybe you should watch some Perry Mason like me instead of fucking The Little Mermaid for the 50th time, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so Ralph comes down. He's celebrating a little bit. I'm like, well, you know, you better be careful. Usually there's a big L that follows any W you have, right? Pride and such. Um, so I wake up the next day to a, a screenshot from my girlfriend. Uh, apparently Ralph, Ralph's wife uh, left Mexico with his daughter while he was here in my house. <laughs> Ralph's now wife with Oh my so I, I God. Get this text uh, from her from the screenshot of Twitter saying my wife just or me and my wife are separated. She left Mexico and took the kid and I think And he was at your house when he sent this tweet. Yes. 
<laughs> and I think, and I'm sicker than shit, by the way. Yeah. I'm only just recovering yeah. from Philly because some, I think the guy wearing the shirt that said the world's greatest racist who then woke up in a hospital. What? The next day after getting his ass kicked in oh, Philly. God. <laughs> I think he got me sick. Um, yeah. So I'm looking at this going, oh no. <laughs> this is. You had to do this now. You couldn't wait till you know. Back in the back in my day, back in the eighties and nineties, they'd leave a letter, right? Where you call the Dear John letter, where you right. get home, and say, "Oh wow, this huh? Wow, this really sucks." It wasn't. Hey, are you at your friend's house uh, who's sick and stuff? Yeah, here no. you go. I'm out of here. Why don't you deal with that? <laughs> my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, I'm laughing, but it's you know it's. A, it's a terrible situation. Of yeah. He doesn't know if she went back to the States. Does he even know where she went? Yeah, yeah. She could be an asshole about it, but she's not. She's like, clearly, she just wants him to clean his act up. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have a choice. Do it do it or not. Uh, yeah. A lot of men have had that choice. Um, wow. so, so he came down here. He's like, uh, I think I should stream. He woke up with the text. He's like, uh, I go up there. I'm like, it's his well, own therapy. How you, how you feeling? Yeah. Um, not good. I imagine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should probably stream. I said, I don't, I don't give me the ball. No, I don't think so. He goes, yeah, I think I should. I'm like, all right, well, I'm, you know, I'll, obviously I'll right. help. I'll help you out. Yeah. You're not going <laughs> to, he asked twice. You're, you're not what, right. You're not one to keep, you know, it's like, Hey, like I said, probably maybe not a good idea. Uh, you keep going. Not not my job to stop <laughs> you anymore. My, yeah. I don't have a more compelling argument than right. I don't think you should. Right. So right. Uh, right. I've exhausted all my you, uh, they, <laughs> This is you you're making a choice. You're a grown man. Uh yeah, what's the worst that could happen? You do you look foolish. Um oh no. Uh, right. That's the worst That's, thing, uh, you know. Welcome uh, to a career on the internet, yeah. I guess, right? Oh Christ. Oh, you looked <sighs> Yeah. Um <clears throat> I guess this is this is the funny part. I'll I'll talk about. We talked a lot, but uh, it's not no, none of it's funny. Um, at some point, uh, at some point during the day or the next day, maybe Ralph woke up and he's like, uh, uh, "I feel like uh, you, you maybe slipped me something uh, last night. Uh, did like, you slip me anything in my drink?" And I'm like, "Why would I do that? No, right. that's the last thing." I I'm sicker than hell. Why would I? Does, why? Your, does your ass hurt, Ralph? <laughs> yeah. He I feel says, like you slipped me he goes, something. Yeah, I, for some reason last night I, I was out of it and I thought you did. And I was talking to Andrew Anglin. I'm like, I think Dick slipped me something in my drink or something. Something. He slipped me something. One of his, one, you know, one of his, one of his, <laughs> one of these goofy Mickeys. drugs that he had. He slipped me a Mickey, yeah. right? Slip me a Mickey. You know who Andrew Anglin is? No. The Daily Stormer, owner of the Daily. He's like the most hated yeah. man in the world, is probably. He? Yeah. yeah, he's like, like, it's like a. Yeah. S- s- Comedy slash like uh, 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 just imagine like the worst sort of the worst stereotypes you could write uh, in the name of white supremacy and then double it like everything. Oh, okay. I got it. I mean, it's this speech, right? It's just like yeah, I, 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 I have a hard time being offended by things people write. So uh, yeah, yeah. But he was wiped completely off the internet, and yeah, he's like sure. everyone. Just, he's like synonymous with the Hitler and Satan. Got at it. This point. I mean, I know I've heard of the Daily Stormer. Like yeah, a, okay. He's he no, I know what that is. It. Yeah, okay, okay. He's an interesting guy. He's he has um, whatever. Uh, I'm not changing anyone's mind one way or the other. Yeah, right, right. So Ralph's talking to him. And he goes, "I think Dick slipped me a Mickey." And Andrew Anglin of all people goes, "I don't think Dick would do that." Yeah, why? <laughs> I, thank you. <laughs> There's one guy yeah, yeah. who's defending me. Right. Um. So um. <laughs> yeah. And it's Nazi cubed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn. So then, how much longer did he stay? Did he have to? Was he like, next I, day he's, uh, you know, I gotta straight. get the fuck out of here. I gotta. He's gotta go see his son and and go uh, back home. Yeah, to an empty house to Mexico. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough couple, rough couple months. When did he leave? And he's got no sunglasses. Uh, That's he even left worse. on Thursday. We went to go get some ice cream and donuts, and I said, let's post a picture with our ice cream. That'll really people. That yeah. will really drive people crazy. So he's like, oh, yeah, that, that will drive him crazy. So Why would that drive him crazy? I don't know. Just because it's, it's just guys, something like... Two- same reason the Taliban having ice cream drove everybody crazy. It's <laughs> just like two guys having ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Did you slip me a Mickey? Uh, two. <laughs> two. Two Mickeys. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, I would never act like that normally. He's like, I'm sure you slipped me a Mickey. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. What, what I don't happened? Know. I mean, I, yeah. He's like, well, check your, let's see your, maybe I slipped myself a Mickey. I'm like, yeah, that's possible. You're having a pretty rough time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday. So I went into the drawer and I got All my, the Mickeys were gone. <laughs> my Mickey. Yeah. I have a, a little vial of Mickey there. Yeah. It's like, well, is it in there? And I'm like, well, uh, yeah, it's um, bone dry. Oh, boy. That's about uh, 40 Mickeys. Yeah. That are missing. That's a lot of Mickeys to be missing. Of, it's a lot of Mickeys. Yeah. That went missing. Right. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> What time, what time period do you... How many dimensions do you think there are? Yeah. Raise your... Uh, show me on one hand yes. how many dimensions you see right now. I'm mm -hmm. guessing more than three. Yeah. Uh, I think Ralph will be all right. I think he'll get better. I've had... I've had... I've had a lot of friends get way down the addiction road. Yeah. And just go like, well, man, kind of on your own now. A lot. And oh, where, I, where you are like, you're on your own? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think... I think he's got it. I think he's got it clocked. Yeah. He knows what he he knows what he has to do. Yeah. That's different than not knowing. No, he knows, true. he knows the issue. True. And the thing is, but it may be a long time before he does something about it. You have yeah. And that's you, fine too. No, it, it, but it, ultimately you know where you have to go. It, and you keep uh you keep going, well, maybe this time I can, you know, blah blah blah. It's like uh, you, you maybe you stay dry or something for a while. And then you go back to it and you're like, ah, oh God, it's as bad back or again. worse. God damn it. Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, fucking, okay. Uh, and, that will happen too. And f yeah, that's that's a normal part of it. Yeah. That's a um, normal part of it. But but like you said- But some people some don't people, know. Some people you talk to them and they're like, well, you know- and they, That's never been my problem. Excuses. Like, totally, yeah, totally. You're not, you got no fucking chance, man. Yeah, yeah. Ralph's, he knows. Yeah. Whatever it is, re <laughs> rehab whatever it, whatever it takes I, to me it's just to me it all comes down to one thing like you just have to make the decision not to drink every day sometimes 20 times a day yeah and it's hard some harder sometimes to make the decision than others but you have to make the decision a lot yeah well i mean nobody's nobody's force feeding it to you yeah uh christian are you there